I'm going to talk to you in this video about it's a setup. How can you identify being set up in your relationships so that you will not fall into the trap and make yourself get stuck? So sometimes people have an agenda and they don't want to be honest about that agenda. They don't want to say to you, you know what? I don't agree with what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. And I'm going to have a conversation with you where I have a predetermined outcome that I'm going to bring you to. And it is going to be so I can turn around and tell you how stupid you are or tell you that you're wrong one more time or tell you that you're incapable of making good decisions or tell you blank, blank, blank right? I don't want to tell you that ahead of time. So I'm going to play a little game. And the game that I'm going to play is I'm going to pretend that I'm asking you a question and that I really care about the answer. But when you answer it in a way that doesn't lead you down the path that I'm taking you, I'm going to get a little annoyed and a little irritated. And I'm going to kind of pull you back in and ask you another question that's going to pull you back to where you have to answer the way I want you to, so I can come off with the criticisms that I have ready to throw at you because I've got a plan. Like I said, I don't want to be honest about it. It's, it's a malicious predetermined outcome that the person is not going to say they're going to disguise it. So let's say, for instance, Gina's dad says to her, hey, Gina, I know you're starting that business. Do you want to tell me about it? Tell me everything that you're doing. And then Gina starts to tell him about the progress she's made in setting up her business. It could be an internet business. It could be a business with a store. It could be a plan to launch a product or to do something as a service. So she begins to tell him and then he stops her. Wait a minute. Do you know how much you're going to make in that business? Not yet. And then she starts to talk and he says, wait a minute, how much are you going to make? And she says, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that. How do you have a business plan that's going to succeed if you don't know how much you're going to make? I don't know, dad. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure that stuff out. I'm, I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten where I figured that out yet. I'm still trying to get prices and I'm still trying to compare products and, and get an idea of the marketplace. Well, you're, how could you ever run a business? You're never going to get there. And he just keeps saying that same thing over to let her know he thinks that she's going to fail, that he doesn't like what she's doing. He doesn't think she's capable. He doesn't think that she's going to succeed. It's a setup. He asked the question to set her up so that he could give her that opinion. Instead of just saying, you know what, Gina, I'm not really keen on that idea of you starting a business. See, by doing it that way, he would have to own it. He would have to say, as your dad, I don't support your business. He doesn't want to do that because that puts responsibility on him. It means that he's flat out saying, I don't support what you're doing. So a little bit, there's a little bit of fallback that could come to him with that. Hey, dad, remember when I started that business? Remember how you told me you didn't support me? Well, look, I'm doing pretty well with that. Well, then he would be accountable for that. He doesn't want to be accountable. He doesn't want to take responsibility for his opinion. He just wants to throw it out there. He just wants to say it. He's miserable, agitated, uncomfortable, kind of upset about stuff, thinks it's, you know, whatever his opinion. And he's not giving her the respect of, being an adult, making her choices, asking her what she's going to do, open-mindedly listening to her, learning something about what her plans are, learning about what her thinking process is, giving her a fair chance to explain herself. This can happen with anyone. It can happen with a spouse. It can happen with a parent. It can happen with a sibling. It can happen with a friend. It could be somebody who literally has something to say to you. They're upset, they're mad, they're unhappy about something, and they're trying to figure out how they can get you to say something so they can just jump down your throat and say exactly what they're going to say. One of the ways that you're going to be able to identify this is that the person is going to not have a open conversation with you. When you're asked a question, first of all, you're going to pay attention to 
you may, maybe not, you could notice that the person has a tone or an edge or that the person is kind of not looking at you or the person is um, just kind of curt or abrupt or maybe a little intense and not as soft or as kind as maybe the person normally is or not as relaxed. But you're gonna notice that that question is gonna probably be followed quickly by another question. Like I said, when you say something that wasn't going down that path, you're gonna be pulled back really hard to that path. And then the person's gonna throw something out and you're gonna go, where does that come from? Like, how does that fit? Or I don't feel like I was really listened to, or I don't feel like I got a chance. Start to ask yourself, was this a setup? Okay, was I set up? And start to recognize the people in your life that do set you up and what circumstances they set you up in so that you can recognize it and maybe refuse to participate once you realize this is a setup or once you see, once you have been set up and the person can throw that stuff at you, you can just say, time out, not discussing this anymore, done, over, conversation over. This is a setup. And of course the person's gonna go, what are you talking about? How are you, you, you wasn't a setup, you're crazy. You walk away, be done, know that you know that you know that it was a setup and recognize, okay, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't cause that misunderstanding. You didn't cause that person to get mad. You didn't cause that person to jump at you and say all these things. This person was already in that mood. This person was already at that place for whatever reason. And you don't have to be responsible or take on the responsibility for the reason, for the mood, for the thinking, for the whatever it is. Let that person figure it out. But don't go back and try to fix it. Don't go back and try to explain. You set me up. I said that. You meant to say that. Because when a person's in a mood to set you up, that person is not in the mood to discuss it to own up to it, to apologize for it, or to repair the damage that was just done in the conversation. It's not happening. So if you go there and you try to do that, you are just going to get more wrath and more stuff thrown at you. Don't put yourself in that situation. Recognize the setup, walk away, go think it through, figure it out. Don't engage anymore with that person for a while, or at least under those terms, don't try to fix it. So Proverbs 26, 24 through 25 says, a malicious man disguises himself with his lips, but in his heart, he harbors deceit. Though his speech is charming, do not believe him for seven abominations fill his heart. Okay. So sometimes people are malicious and they are setting you up. Be aware that that can happen and as much as possible, refuse to cooperate. Thank you for watching this video on Change My Relationship. I hope that you will go on my website, find my books, my studies, um, my more of my YouTube videos, and all the other resources I have there for you. And I hope you will look at my new devotional, 365 day devotional for Christians in difficult relationships. So that will be a really good resource for you to look up truths like the one that I gave you today. You'll have one to read every single day of your year. And you have an index at the back that's topical where you can look up whatever it is that you're struggling with and read the devotions that fit that particular issue. So God bless. And I hope that I will see you back watching some more videos.